Hello everyone, and welcome back to the CrossCode Know It's Me Challenge Run, the livestream series where we are trying to complete this awesome action RPG while permanently stuck at level 1. And if you want to watch these challenge runs on your own time, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and boop that bell button to stay notified. Now when we last le went off, left off, we went through a lot of story stuff that was really important, including, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't played this game or, or hasn't watched, uh, this would be a good time to pause and go back before I start talking about this because I'll be saying spoilers in three, two, one. Last stream, we learned that Leia is in fact not a, a physical person, but rather an AI who has had the memories of Shizuka, the character from the prologue, copied he'd on onto her. Now, what does this mean don't moving forward? Well, it means that the story is about to get a lot more interesting, and I'm really excited for where things are going. Also, welcome, Copper Nicholson. Thank you so much for dropping by. How you doing? Uh, awesome. Glad to hear it. So, as I was saying, we are going to be picking up from where we left off last stream. There was a lot of story stuff last stream. And hopefully we're able to actually escape this area of the stream, though that will depend largely on what, um, on what happens in these upcoming areas. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> so, for those who don't know, we found out last stream that Leia is in fact not a person, but rather she is an AI. Now, in my opinion, that was a very well done twist. Because they kind of, uh, the developers definitely set it up with gameplay going towards it. There we are. For real this time. Hmm. They might throw another high level enemy at us, so better keep your guard up. Mm hmm. Can't wait to see what kind of run they'll show us this time. So yeah, we are going to be continuing the story from, from where we left off. And of course, we are level 1, and everything here is much higher level, so it is going to be pretty challenging. Oh, oh nice, Copper Nicholson. Glad to hear you had a good day. Uh oh. And as you know, it's one thing about the level 1 run is you take so much damage because your stats are so much worse. So we really do have to be careful with these attacks. And these virus enemies can be tricky if you don't know their little gimmick here. Which is that you kind of have to knock the viruses into each other after breaking them. But yeah. Come on. We're doing really well. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, Schneider. I need your help. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. It's multiplying. Ow. Oh, nice, Copper. Uh oh. Alright, here we go. Be careful now. Hmm. Oh, this would be bad now that I'm realizing it because it has ranged attacks. Yeah, that's a very scary enemy. I mean, look at the level difference right now. We're level 1, that thing's level 60. <laughs> I wonder if... You know what? We might be able to help Schneider beat this just marginally faster by trying to set it on fire. There we go. Nice. A oh, few got that one down. I don't think I've ever seen an enemy like this scary stuff. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let there be light. What? Well, what is this run? Uh. Oh no. Huh? Um, Shion, I sure wonder who what room this is. I certainly don't remember. Huh? Wait. What? Hmm. 
<laughs> My room? This? Never. What? Just because my name is written on that letter? That could be anyone called Lucas. Ugh. Hmm. Alright, I give in. It's my room. Hmm. Hmm. I know, it's messy. It's not always like this, I swear. Please don't judge. Ugh. Please. You're judging way too hard. No, don't go over there! Mm -mm. Ugh. This is the worst. <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> Come on, we've seen enough. Let's go. <laughs> Leia, please. <laughs> Spud Leia returns. That's great, Kaffer. <sighs> Beating up that rhino thing just to see such a place. I can't believe it. <sighs> How in the world do they even know what my room looks like? Why would they put that kind of reconstruction in this place? Huh? Anyway, I seem to remember a little more now. Like the place I live at, the place I work at. What was the name of the company again? Anyway, I think I worked in the IT department. Ooh. Still, this all feels very strange. Like, why did I forget all this suddenly? Hmm? You know, I had a pretty scary thought. Huh? I'm spending all of my time in this game now. The only thing left from my real life are those memories that are slowly returning. But what? What if there is no real life anymore? Hmm. What if we're just stuck in this game forever? Hmm. Is this maybe the feeling you had yesterday? Mm-hmm. I see. Hmm. Well, here's the thing though. Why does it matter? Huh? Does that make our lives any less meaningful? Hmm? We don't know why we're stuck in this game. But honestly, we don't even know why we live in the first place. Huh? So, we're either stuck in this game or stuck in real life. What's the big difference? Ugh. Is it so strange thinking that way? Hmm. <laughs> oh well. I think what's important is that it's a life worth living. And being stuck in this game isn't the worst fate imaginable, now is it? Huh? We're not alone. We have friends in this world. Hmm. <laughs> and heck, I know a few people that would be happy he being locked into cross worlds permanently. Huh. <sighs> so it's not all bad, is it? Especially if we get out of this place. This place kind of sucks, honestly. Now that I think about it, my room fits in pretty well. <laughs> well then. Let's hand in that quest already. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it's the plot of the Matrix, but it is definitely, it fits the isekai genre, so we are, like, in a game. And not quite able to leave it. Though obviously for different reasons than being brought into a, another world. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sam Francis has a great talent. I mean, hey, it could be worse. We could be bud so that we're stuck at level one. And Leia just gives him the bait. A just like look of disgust, just like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you for fulfilling your objective. Please return to your room and rest for the day. Expect your next mission soon. Thanks, Chief. Bye. Well then, we're free to go to the tower now. I don't know about you, but I'd rather sleep another night before we go there. Who knows what will await us in there, right? It might take some time. <laughs> Alright then, let's head to the dormitory one last time. All right, we are approaching the latter half of this. Uh, well, I think we're already in the latter half of this area. It's just what Tom's Nest is pretty difficult. And, but it's also really unique compared to some of the more recent areas. So that'll be interesting. Okay then. I hope we can still sleep well after you solve the nightmare that is my flat. <sighs> Make sure you're well rested for tomorrow. Good night. Hmm. Aw. Bye.
Hi? Huh? Wait! Bye. Mm. Um, I don't know, Topper, but 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 you'll see when we get there. It's probably gonna be very hard, regardless, because it's it's interesting. Let me tell you a little trick about conversations. People they like to share their stories, so if you want to be on their good side, listen to them. Add a few comments, ask questions, let them know you are interested. Keep the conversation flowing naturally, but let them do the talking. That's how people enjoy your company. However, none of this works if the person can't talk. I found that out the hard way when I met her. She could only listen, very much like you. So for once, I had to do the talking. Talking about myself. Hmm. <gasps> hmm. I am sorry about what happened the day before yesterday. This was not planned, nor intended. Why? Hmm. That's right, you can say a few words now. Well then, do you mind telling me something? Who exactly put you back into the game? Huh? I suppose you won't find the right words for that. Huh? Never mind then. We'll find that person sooner or later. Goodbye. Bye. Hi? Hi? Hmm? Leia. Don't worry, things are fine on my side. However, at the moment, I cannot talk to you like usual. For now, please go to the tower as you planned with Lucas. I will try to get you both out of this place. Until then. <laughs> Game phase. And, yeah, Cabernet said that guy is very important to the story. <laughs> Hi. Good morning, Leia. So, are you ready for the tower? Hmm. <laughs> Jaho, let's do this. Ah, yes. Going straight upwards will definitely not work. No way we'll get past those guards. But I was told that there is a secret route in the Upper East over there. We might have to do a bit of climbing to get through there, but it should be possible. Hmm. Also, once we reach the tower, there might be no turning back. If there is something you still want to do in this hellhole, you should do it now. Huh? I think we've done everything we can at this point, besides what's to come, so let's move on. And we are level one, so this should be very interesting. Uh, I don't know, Topper. He could be, he might not be. That's y'all have to wait and see. Uh, for those who are wondering, I have actually played through this game completely twice before. This is my third playthrough. And I do know the whole plot of this game, but I am trying to make sure not to spoil anything for anyone who might be viewing this game for the first time, because it is a really awesome game, and its story is worth experiencing uh, with a, without any outside input. <laughs> Alright, now we just have to get through here undetected. There's supposed to be a door up there that we can enter. Let's go separately. It's probably easier to stay hidden that way. <laughs> it's also easier to program for the developers so they don't have to make Lucas do some convoluted path with timing and stuff through all this. Wait! Huh? Do you want to go ahead? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Good thinking. You're rather small, so they'll have a hard time spotting you. Ugh! Yeah! <laughs> Alright then, you go ahead. I've got your back. <laughs> yeah, but realistically, the reason this happens a lot in games is because it would actually take a lot of effort to have to program Lucas going to different paths and not have him getting spotted and stuff like that. And I, I'm saying this from experience because I am a hobbyist game developer, so in terms of w when you're a game developer, you want to make sure that you're, um, you want to make the game as interesting as, and interactive as possible, but you also don't want to do anything that's either beyond your skill set or stuff that might be a waste of time depending on what you're trying to accomplish. So in this case, programming Lucas to add very specific intervals out oh here. 
I'm going to count that as a death just because I'm assuming that that would be an instant death. <laughs> so there might be a lot of deaths in this area because I'm not the best at stealth. And this is uh, one of the sections where the stealth mechanic really does get implemented very heavily. I think it's really interesting. Because it's kind of... Well, I mean, this is... Like, this stuff with the, with the cone of vision is just classic um, stealth mechanics. Whether we're talking Metal Gear Solid, or even old Flash games, honestly. And what's interesting is, the way they've lined this up is you actually have to go counterclockwise when the enemies are going clockwise, and that just adds the ever a bit more bit of tension in order to do that. And now we get in here. And notice how Lutus is right behind us again, saving on programming and stuff. Oh, fuel, that's what's close. So many of them out there. Well then, let's take the elevator. <laughs> Have I tried using a cardboard bots? I wish. If there was a cardboard bots, it would be very, very specific, like for this kind of situation. There's supposed to be more guards down here. Stay on your toes. <sighs> let's just save real quick. And continue on. Yeah, there's the last chest of the area. As believe it or not, there's, um... Oh dear. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, right, I can't open the map here. But basically, there's 11 chests in Vermilion Wasteland. That's the 11th one. I think I just stand... Not there. Dang it. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> That's my head. Yeah, cardboard or bot technology is just a wee bit too advanced for crosscode. Even though this is a very futuristic game. Now, what's interesting here is... Um... Another aspect of good game design is once you've introduced a, con a, a new game concept or game mechanic to a player and you already have a couple mechanics, it's really good to start mixing up those mechanics in meaningful ways. For example, it, this is the stealth mechanic at work. We see the cone, but there's no way we can walk past this without getting detected, right? But notice how there's a little switch there. If And notice how we, there's an angle here. This is actually an example of combining the puzzle mechanics that we've learned a lot by this point in the game, while also missing in the brand new stealth mechanic. And I, I just think it's really cool as to how, it, when you do good game design, you actually do mix up these mechanics in meaningful ways. So as you know, now we can't see anything and we can move past. And you'll remember these kind of rising and falling platforms from the previous temples. Again, the developers are doing a great job building off what they already have. Ah. Oh, you, that, that's really cool, Topper. I'm glad to see you're interested in learning more about game design. Uh, I haven't actually watched Up Is Not Jump before, but I have um, I have ever watched a, a group of people known as uh, Extra Credits. The Extra Credits was a... Um, I'm trying to remember. When I was in, in college, I used to be part of a game developers club. Uh, just for fun, uh, in my, I think, sophomore or junior year while I was there. And in that game developers club, uh, they, the guy who was running it would frequently show extra credits just because they do talk a lot about different aspects of game design. So if you're interested in learning more about game design, that's another good spot to work, to look just in general. Hmm. This is the only way, isn't it? Maybe there's something in this room. So... Oh no. It's a trap. I totally saw that one coming. Ugh. Sure you did. I played through this game completely twice and I didn't even remember that part. <laughs> there we go. Come on, Lucas. Get him. Schneider. Help. Dead, Lucas. Yes. Oh, nice, Copper. It's cool to hear. Oh, dear. Oof. 
Let's just stay focused and try to stay alive. Oh, and for those who have played Crossroad before and wondering why I'm not using any sort of combat arts, is because I actually don't have any. Because we can't level up, we actually are kind of stuck with... Um, the only CP we're able to acquire is, the, is that which we can appear, obtain through quests. And the only side quest so far, I think, that we've been able to complete that had CP was the Temple Mine Mining Equipment quest. And oh my goodness, there's so many! Because of that, we've only gotten one CP this entire run so far, which is not enough to get any combat art. <laughs> Kinda hilarious, but it's also a means that we're stuck with just our regular attacks. Come on. Yes. Uh, yeah, it was completely open to anyone. You don't have to be, like, super... You could be, like, a first-time game designer or someone who's never... Who's just interested in the concept of game design. You didn't even have to make any games. It's just something you could be a part of. It was honestly a really, really small club. Not too many people went there just because, I mean, game design is hard, and there's only a handful of people that are, are really interested in understanding the mechanics behind it all. But if you're definitely interested in game design, I, I love to talk about game design. So if you bring up anything about game design or just game mechanics and stuff, I, I eat that stuff up. I'd be more than happy to discuss that, whether that's on stream or in the comments on YouTube. Uh, game. To me, uh, video games are an art form, and I really appreciate analyzing them and understanding them as best I can. Yeah. And if uh, you're even remotely interested in game design and your college, high school, educational institution has any sort of game designers club or video game club or something, Definitely recommend checking it out. You never know what you'll learn. I know when I was in in college, the Game Designers Club is where I actually got to see presentations on how to use Unity and different 3D aspects, which I've never really used, but they're still interesting mechanics to learn about. And I also got to see some potential indie developers as well, which is really interesting. All right, another elevator. Let's hope that one goes up again. <laughs> well, imagine if it goes down and he's like, oh no, <laughs> looking good. Wait, so we're back at the entrance? Hmm, maybe we can find a route walking over here, those roofs over here. <laughs> also, another aspect of your game design is actually making use of your entire environment. So this is a concept that brings up a lot with level design, but I think it's, I cannot overstay it enough because I've seen, even in AAA titles, way too often uh, levels not being uh, taken full advantage of. So why is this a good use of space? Well, consider this. We just went through the first area, which was this level over here, where we're kind of down here, and there are enemies over there. But you notice how what was once walls on the, the first part of this level is now actually platforms on the second part of the level. So we're reusing the same space, but now it's different. Pretty interesting, right? Not to mention, this is also really good because it actually gave you a shortcut. Um, I think uh, a, a, another series that does this very well, where you kind of have like a level of loops back on itself and has a bunch of shortcuts, is Dark Souls. Dark Souls 1 especially. You'll have plenty of instances where you have a stretch of, of a level that you just go through, and then you end up looping back in a circle and get a shortcut so you can better navigate the area again. And uh, both of these are great principles of good game design. And it's cool to see them at work here in Crosscode. In Cross uh, was there anything over here? Nope. Nope. Now I'm not stuck there now. Yep, you can climb. Okay, it seems we're getting closer. Now, this area is tricky. Because it is, again, combining a lot of the different stealth concepts with some of the puzzle mechanics we've learned earlier. What's tricky about this area is the fact that, I mean, there... Oh dear. Why? <laughs> I swear, these robots are going to... At this rate, the robots are going to have the highest... Uh, rate of effectiveness at destroying Leia. <laughs> but I do like that because of the elevation here, you actually can do this multiple ways. You can hop on the boxes to try and uh, get around things, or do it from down here. <laughs> and the death counter goes <laughs> up. Oh well. Let's try that again. So, what you're supposed to do here is actually bounce it off this corner. I just accidentally hit that enemy. 
There we go. And now we have to go across here, like that. <laughs> yeah, at least it isn't a 20 minute fight to like the moth or a, or a really intense fight like uh, Blaze stuff. And also, welcome Sonic dude, thank you so much for dropping by. How you doing? So, let's see here. Again, once again we're seeing like ricochet mechanics mixed with the stealth and it's just really good. <laughs> All right, so now we just walk very, very carefully around here and use the elevation to our advantage. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I just did. Uh, I'm doing great, Santi. Thank you for asking. I actually um, did some more work on, uh, for those who don't know, I do have like a personal game project that I like to do in my, in my spare time. And I did. I made some animations for one of the bosses today, and that was a lot of fun. I also like how when that gate opens, it's not like, oh, the gate's open, now it's easy. Now all of a sudden we have this new enemy that's wandering around and making it harder for us. It was cool to see the level evolve there. <laughs> Whoa, we did it, didn't we? Whew. Okay, let's see if we can access the tower from here. It's entirely empty. <laughs> Suspicious. <sighs> what a strange way to prioritize security. Hmm. Well then, nothing stopping us here. Let's enter the tower. <laughs> okay. So, if we are entering the tower, that means as long as things go well with what's coming up, we might actually be able to escape from here. The thing is, though, what's coming up is really tough. And I don't know if we'll be able to do it at level 1, just because it's it's very unique, but it's also one of my favorite moments in the entire game. Uh, you'll see. So this is it. Hmm. I gotta be honest, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Quoting Obi-Wan Kenobi there, I see. Why? The way we managed to pass all those guards. Doesn't it almost feel intentional? As Admiral Akbar would say, it's a trap. Like they wanted us to get through here? Hmm? Well, it's not like we have any other option, right? Hmm? Hmm. Alright then, let's enter and see what happens. That's all, Dick Topper. Why? How? Why? Leia, please calm down. Hmm? The interior of this tower is instanced. That is why Lucas is not here. It is like a dungeon. Hmm? But do not worry. I have a plan. If things go well, I can get both of you out of this. We will just have to break a few rules. And walls. Huh? I need a bit of time to prepare things. I have to reach Lucas somehow. Hmm? Meanwhile, I need you to move to the next room to the north. Hmm. <laughs> Also, by the way, I haven't heard this track in forever, but this track is just so awesome, isn't it? It just sounds so eerie and intimidating, doesn't it? I'll have to look this track back up at some point later, just because I also don't remember it. Oh, also, speaking of missing mechanics, this is a really tight timer. But that's uh, pretty cool, right? How you have to really time it, whereas this one's just a little bit different on the timing. So we just hit there, wait a moment, go like that, and boom. <laughs> oh, you'll see, Coffer. It's going to be very interesting. All right, this looks good. Next, you'll need to move towards the west. So, why? Just trust me on this for now. Hmm. I know, trusting Sergei right now must be hard for Leia because, I mean, Sergei lied to her last stream. Well, actually, Sergei lied to her. Uh, basically, what Sergei said was that Leia was in a coma, which was a lie. Le the coma was used as an excuse as to why Leia couldn't leave the game, but in fact, that wasn't true at all. The real, real truth of it is that Leia is an AI, and that's why she can't leave the game. There we go. They are. I need you to leave through the other door. Uh. Yeah, if you misspelled Weast. I think I needed to go that way anyway. Wait, no, I didn't. 
I honestly don't remember, but it's been a while since I've been in this dungeon. Now, I do wonder if the devs are going to actually, like, fill out this area um, in the post-game content, just because uh, for the rest of the game, you never actually go through that right door. So it would be interesting if they did. There we go. North, south, east, and west. Oh, to north, south, west, and other west, yes. <laughs> okay, you are at the right position now, Leia. I just need a little bit longer to manage things on my side. Meanwhile, you can take care of the enemies in this room. Huh? Oh no, if it's enemies, this could be a problem. Oh no. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it begins. The suffering. <laughs> I parried that? That's awesome. Oh, we are doing so little damage. Even with melee canceling. This could be a problem. Ow. This could be really bad. <laughs> now that I'm seeing it, just I am not good at fighting these enemies. I'm just going to be, be honest with you guys. This, these enemies are really tough for me on a regular playthrough. But now especially, it's just going to be utter chaos. <laughs> That's a fair point, Sanatu. I mean, don't get me wrong, that was really, really hard. But, but I'm just saying, it, it only gets... I think I said at some point at, or at, in like one of my earlier streams that this is a run that's only going to get exponentially worse the further we get in. And this is an example of that. I mean... This is supposed to be just a very ordinary enemy for this area, but it's completely annihilating us right now. That's why I'm so glad I bought all these chef sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we need to find the cardinal direction for Wumbo. That'll save us. Okay, just hit it over there. Nice. Come on. Come on. Knock it out. Knock it out. Why? <laughs> you know what I think we need? I think we need more health regen, and a lot of it. So let's go with Sweet Berry, t nah, Green Leaf Tea. Because we have some health regen, it's just a question of... This is really close and I don't like it. <laughs> that, okay, way, way, way too close. Another chef sandwich. <laughs> okay, that's a fantastic line conference look. <laughs> this challenge run is like that one joke from the Simpsons movies. This is the worst day of my life. No, worst day of your life so far. Honestly though, I'm having I'm having a blast doing this. This is it's really fun to try and overcome these challenges because they're so hard. So even if these regular enemies might get a few deaths on us, I'm still enjoying the process of battling them. It's a shame these aren't the ice types, as if they were, I might be able to set these things on fire. Which might be faster. Okay. Come on. But we definitely need... Okay, no. I, I'm, I'm calling it now. We need Sweet Berry. Because this is too much. I was right, that was too much. Okay. We have to take this really seriously then. Maybe play it a lot more patient than it has been. So let's just wait and dodge. Be very, very chill about this. Come on. Okay, that was better. Nymalot, welcome! Thank you so much for dropping by! We're in the middle of fighting these viruses and they are really tough. Okay, that was better. Come on. See guys, we're learning. Ah yes, Sir Nymalot has arrived. All right, that's one down. We get to the second phase a lot faster this time.
Oh yeah, they kind of do laugh like head crabs. That's a that's a good point, Sancho. I never even realized that. Thank you for pointing that out. Let's go. Ow. Please hit the virus. Well, if we didn't even one of these down, that would be a big deal. <laughs> Sandwich, please. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. L3 Gen. Well, I mean, we are wearing a helmet, technically. But it doesn't show on latest characters, because that would take way too, it would take a lot of effort to, to animate all the different gear that Leia can, can wear. Alright, that's one down, let's go. That, that's for, that's better progress than last time, for sure. I forgot, this This mechanic actually was kind of hinted at in a previous side quest, if you guys recall, with like the, um, like the relay we had to hit around to different areas. So it is interesting how they remit that kind of mechanic of having to bounce uh, something into another location to, um, be part of the enemies. Okay, I'm getting really close to elemental overload. Alright. Ow. Come on. No. Okay. Okay. Focus. Focus. We're very close. Yeah! Let's go! Oh, that's my uniforms. That would be pretty interesting. Hi? Just a moment, please. <sighs> Perfect, we are very lucky. I got Lucas just at the right position, and he seems to be waiting for us. Now we will just have to meet up with him. By breaking through the dungeon room instances. <gasps> just follow my instructions. I will now spawn the native point. Now try interacting with the symbol. And you're right, Nymlop, this is the fun part. But it also means we're approaching kind of the point of no return, which will be pretty interesting at level one. <laughs> Let's go. Have I, have I, pfft. Oh, whoops. Why? I'm sorry, I must have made a little mistake here. Let's me go over the parameters again. Mm. Mm. Oh, I think I got it. Please try again. Mm. Yep, splat. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Zatra is even better. <laughs> eventually, Leia just keeps rising and rising and rising and rising. Eventually, she just leaves the tower and leaves Shadun's atmosphere, and she's in space. It's like, come on, like, come on, sir, it lets me down already. Um, all oh, right, forgot about that thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> forgot to set gravity back to a non-zero value, didn't you? <laughs> Sorry, Leia, we need one more attempt. Leia looks so unamused right now. <laughs> in my defense, this whole routine is pretty experimental. So in other words, you're messing with console commands, Sergey. I get it. Uh, hmm. Okay, this should do it. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. They say third time's the charm, right? <laughs> okay. There we go. Boom! <laughs> and she still hits the floor. It's worked well, sort of. <gasps> Leia, we just jumped to another room instance. Dungeon instances, they work on a room by room basis. And all room instances are placed within a massive compound. What we will do is jump between those instances until we reach the room Lucas is in. 
and then escape this compound itself. <gasps> as strange as it sounds, it is our best chance to get out of this place. Okay, let me see. The next item should be here. Mm. Yes, it is, has to be on the other side of the room, sorry. But in the looks of it, it's, we should be able to reach it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I know, right? I, I, I love this part of the game. It's so, I think it's so cool. It's like you're kind of breaking through the levels, so to speak. Not to mention, I love the fact that, um... Hold on a second. I love the fact that Leia is... Not Leia. Oh, right, I have to hit the bomb over there, and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just do that. That down there. That's not quite what I was going for. But yeah, I, I love that this is kind of like a very fourth wall breaky kind of section of the game. We're literally breaking through the dungeons in order to try and escape. It's so cool. And that animation's awesome, too. Now, I believe... Yep. So we hit you over there. Freeze you. And this is, like, I think it's cool that we're actually intermixing different mechanics here. So stuff from the Ice Temple and from the Fire Temple here. Which is, again, good game design. Mixing two mechanics... Uh, two major mechanics, no less, the bombs and the, um, the ice, uh, gems. Also, I, I'm not sure if it's this room, but there is definitely a... Somewhere around here, there's an Easter egg that I found out about on the Frostcoat Discord that apparently was added fairly recently, and I would like to check it out. Boom! Break through another level. Stick the landing, nice. Nice landing. That stage is, is down over there. You can just ignore the puzzle in this room. Actually, I'm not going to. I think this is it. So, what I need to do is... There is a puzzle to do here. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, can I move you? I can. Okay. I think it's going to be... I just have to hit those. Okay, that stopped that. Yeah, that's not the door. I, I really think it's this room. Like, you don't have to complete the shop puzzle here, I don't think. Maybe it's... Okay, well, the Easter egg is in this room. I don't know how to do it. I know, right? Now I'm locked. Oh yeah, it is kind of like Portal 2. In that essence. But yeah, maybe if I hit that and that and then I just try to open the door. No, that's not it. Okay, I don't know how to do it. If the Easter egg is in that room, I, would, I don't know how to do it. Uh, it it might have been I'm locked, I'm not sure, but a bit late for that now. Oh, well, we should take care of these first. More, more virus enemies. Fire, fire, everything's on fire. I w uh, in theory. Oh, you know what it might be? It might be that we actually have to use like a New Dame Plus feature to have the right element for that room first and then actually solve the puzzle. That might be how it is. Though I'd have to look it up at some point. I do think the ice ones are a little easier to deal with just because they don't come lunging at you. When they do the ice attack, they just kind of do that sort of other thing. Ow. Yeah, I think that's how it's done now on the end. I won't say what the Easter egg is just in case we do end up running into it. But it is something worth looking up. Just as the developers are really good at making lots of references or doing fun stuff. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, that, if there was any place to add any story, that'd be a good spot for it. T. Ow. 
Ow. That is not good. That's really not good. <laughs> I know. Come on. I tr try and make my way through this. It's just really tricky. I vote Sweet Berry Tea. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Focus, focus. Ow. Let's have a high sandwich. Just to be safe. One hit. Okay. Let's get this one out of the way. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, now we're making progress. That's awesome. Come on, come on. Damage. I'll set some damage. Nice. Ow. Oh. Oh yeah, no, not that. Yeah, in Two Fortress 2, the sandwich eating animation takes forever for a balancing factor. But to be fair, some of the more, some of the stronger sandwiches, like the Chef sandwich and the um, Mega sandwich, they actually take longer to eat as a balancing factor for how much they heal you, which makes sense. But it can also be nerve wracking because the amount of time it takes to eat them is really long. Especially since once you start, I don't think you can cancel it unless you take damage. Nice. Wait, Leia. This time we'll exit through the wall to the east. I wonder if that's the Easter egg room, actually. It probably isn't. Uh, Leia, that's not the door. Okay. Here we go. Let's go through the wall. Splat. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Why? Sorry, I forgot to fix the routine for sideway jumps. <laughs> Yeah, try the door again. How? Anyway, it should be work now, I promise. Please try again. <sighs> okay. I'm not sure where it is, but we were definitely approaching approaching a point of no return, and that has me both inside and scared because it's you, you guys will see. Alright, so that's worked. Okay, where nuts it in? Help me. Yeah, I know, that's right for you saying it's straight. <laughs> Please help me. I. What the heck is this? <gasps> there you are. This was certainly not meant to be seen by the likes of you. In this tower, you shall abide to the constraints laid in front of you. Now break through the wall, not break through the walls as you please. We won't tolerate this kind of behavior like this. Your little journey will end now. Shoot. He found out sooner than I had hoped. Leia, you must not be caught up in one of his battles. We have to escape. Run to the next symbol as fast as possible. And now it begins. Also, this soundtrack is awesome. You need to reach the other side of this room to the east. So, this uh, song is called Escape Again. It's one of my favorites in the entire game. Highly recommend looking it up. It's a fantastic track. Da, 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 da. Ow! I swear. Run! Leia! This is so scary. We're out. Yeah, no, poor Leia. Yes, we have to use that secret technique that we learned from, uh... Lay uh, Emily's great ancestor, uh, is Brave Sir Robin, and that's to run away further to the east. Yeah, I know, right? 
Okay. Um, get that. Okay. Then we'll, uh, also, I love how it's like now that we've gotten the ch chance to get used to the mechanics. Now it's like we're throwing the mechanics at us again, but this time we have to be r super fast. Come on. Okay, good. Let's go. And we're out. And yeah, I know that's a great room for at speed run if you're able to defeat those things. But we can't arrest because we're stuck at level one. And yeah, almost there to the east. Now that was quite predictable. We have a good idea of where you are heading. <sighs> Darn it. Oh, Lucas, he is in the room to the east. We have to reach that wall. <gasps> now, we can't have you meet up with your friends. This place is designed for one individual at a time, after all. If your hopes are to escape this place, your journey is destined to fail. And Aetis does not exist. Mm -hmm. That is what he thinks, anyway. I will get you out of here, trust me. Oh, you can hide behind the orange shield. That's interesting. I'm a lot. Thanks for sharing that. Hmm. Alas, watching you twirling around this complex, it is quite entertaining to say the least. This resourcefulness is unlike anything we have witnessed so far. Hence, we shall honor it with an appropriate climax. It shall be your final challenge. Let us see if you can overcome the nigh impossible. Leia, whatever happens, do not give up. We have to get through this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I was afraid of. So, I want you guys to look at the health bar right now. See a problem here? Yeah, no say anything about the health bar, guys. <laughs> then it'll be immediately apparent. So, this thing is Gastropolis. It is my third favorite boss in the entire game, and also, look at that hat's HP, that's ridiculous. Also, this is the real Fire and Ice boss. The bunny boss has nothing on Gastropolis. <sighs> Leia, this enemy... Its maximum HP is ridiculously high, and you're at level 1, which only makes it worse. Yeah, I know, Nymoth. The max HP is much higher than it shows on the screen. <sighs> Trillion? Quadrillion? Ah! I'm not even sure how to say this number. However... It is not infinite. All right, guys, that, you know what that means? It's possible. We can do this. We just have to be here for the next three years. <laughs> this means it is possible to defeat it. <gasps> there is just one thing we have to do. Adjust your attack appropriately. I mean, you're probably going to have to adjust it a lot more for me, sir, day we're, we're level one. Hmm. I just figured out a way to do it within the security constraints. Focus on defeating the burning slug enemies before they explode. As many as possible. <laughs> right, it's not you. And now the real fight begins. Also, I love the, the music tracks that are used for this uh, boss. This track right here is called Exponential Growth. It's really, it's a really fun track. And there's a track later called Exponential Conclusion. They're both excellent. I'm on my favorite in the game. Once again, you have a little trick up your sleeves. Alas, it is but a drop in the ocean. Oh, Leia, just keep going. It's like a big Beyblade. <laughs> we are making marginal progress. No, no, we're not. We're not even close to the number. But yeah, we are trying to get there. It's just meant to be a ridiculously absurd amount of HP for this thing. Intriguing. We see where this is going, but we won't let you have your way hey, that easily. Now how long can you keep up with this? Leia, just keep dodging. I got this. 
Okay, so one trick about the section that I only learned from actually watching someone play through this is that the, um, the, the rocks that are about to attack actually flash white. So what I'm trying to do is actually look for when they flash, not when they actually attack to give myself more time to react. Now, I still got hit, but it does help quite a bit. And now that's ridiculous. Please. Please. Please, no! Why? Okay. Gastropolis got one on us. But, yeah, we are going to have to be really careful during that section. Whew. Now that was quite predictable. You managed to die during that fire phase. That's exactly what I expected. Darn it. We just have to get past that part. Yeah, F's in chat, guys. <laughs> now we can't have that. This place is designed for one individual or at a time, after all. And if you're going to try to escape again, I'm not going to let you. I'm going to make sure you're stuck here forever. Because in AIDS, it does not exist. Huh? That's what he thinks anyway. If we just haven't... If you're just persistent enough, Leia, you can make it through this. Hmm. Alas, watching you twirling through this complex. It's quite entertaining, to say the least. I can't wait to watch my watch my snail pets completely annihilate you again. <laughs> this resourcefulness, you're going to need a lot more of that if you want to pass this thing. Hence, we shall honor it with having you be destroyed again. It shall be your final challenge. Let us see if you can overcome the nigh impossible at level one. <laughs> All right, attempt number two. <laughs> so, yeah, I know I can set the cutscene, but I, I want to go through it in just for fun. So this is attempt number two at Distropolis at level one. I think if we can get past that uh, fire attack, we might be in much better shape, because that is a very tricky part to dodge, especially at the end. Well, I'm thinking as once about to do that, we eat ice cream so that we have more fire resistance. And we also try our best to actually, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, um, we also try our best to have health regen and stuff like that. Oh, cool, copper. Um, what are they? Just, uh... Whatever you're deciding to drink copper, please drink responsibly and be safe. Mm. Leia, this enemy, its maximum HP is ridiculously high. A trillion? Quadrillion? Ah! I'm not even sure how to say this number. However, it's not infinite. That means it is possible to defeat it. <gasps> there is just one thing we have to do. Lamuchan, thank you so much for the follow! I really appreciate it! Welcome, welcome! How are you doing tonight? You'll have to adjust your attack appropriately. Hmm. I just figured out a way to do it within the constraints. I'm good. That's awesome, Lamajon. I think this is your first time. I haven't seen you around here before. Is this your first stream? Focus on defeating the burning slug enemies before they explode. As many as possible. Yeah. So, we are level 1 fighting Distropolis. And this is a boss fight I've been worried from the very start of, about from the very start of this campaign. Or from the very start of this run. It's just because this is such a unique boss, and it, its health is so absurdly high that I'm not sure how, um, how being level 1 is going to factor into this. Oh, you're from the Discord server. That's, uh, the Crossroad Discord. That's awesome. Glad to have you, glad to have you here, Lamachan. Nymalok and I think Doic are actually from the Crossroad Discord as well. And I like how this is, in many ways, Distropolis is like the mastery sort of boss for Fire and Ice. They tried to build up the bunny boss earlier as the, um, sort of like the, the boss for testing your skills with Fire and Ice. But I really think, though, this is the fight. And it's really interesting because we... Distropolis is such a hard boss. It's also a really interesting boss with its mechanics. Oh, it's doing the thing. Okay. 
we're going to do it this time. So we need maximum fire resistance. Hiya! We're just going to try and stay as close to the right as possible. Okay, up here, up here. And just for good measure, I want to have some health regen. Not taking any chances here. Okay. And now it's a little bit crazy. <laughs> yes, Tohu mode activated. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and go, where is it? Where is it? Where is it, Sergei? There we are. Oh boy! <laughs> really? Interesting. What? Time to demonstrate the power of exponential growth. And now the real fight begins, ladies and gentlemen. And we are level one. <laughs> also, this is one of my favorite traps in the entire game. It's called Exponential Conclusion. Come on. Are you weak to anything? Nope. All right, let's just do it. Let's go! Let's go! I'm, I'm amazed how much damage we're doing. No way! I know, right? We're level one. I can't believe we're doing this much damage to it. Oh my. Oh cool, copper. I don't know. I think it's just the nature of the mechanics of this boss with the absurd amount of health. Oh dear. I, I do not like that. Sandwich. Yeah, I know, right? Getting through a stage in one bright face is really abnormal for this challenge run, let me tell you guys. Like, seriously. With the bull boss last stream, for example, uh, no, not last stream, with the bull boss two streams ago, we actually did so little damage that it was faster to just run off a cliff than it was for us to actually do melee canceling attacks against it. And that took like, I don't know how many times we had to run that thing off a cliff for it to, for us to get to the next phase, but it took forever. And then there was the moth boss, which took a lot. Oh yeah, exactly. Level 1 or level 99, 2 to the 30 second power is still a lot of damage, that's a good point. Oh dear. The fire attack's hard to dodge. Sandwich. Yeah, this is actually my third favorite boss fight in the entire game. Just because it's such an uplifting sort of conclusion to this area. And uh, you've, you've, you've kind of come across this enemy that just seems impossible. And it makes you feel once again like you're trapped, but this time, through persistence, you actually managed to overcome it. And to me, it's one of the most satisfying moments in the game. Not the most satisfying moment, mind you. There's still some moments later in the game that I, I enjoy even more than this one, but it's still really high up there. Come on. Damage. Let's go. Let's defeat Distopolis. <laughs> yeah, though it is a small difference out. That's a good point I'm watching. Yeah, what's important, like you're saying, is that the attack stat, because of just the unique nature of this boss fight, is so much higher than normal. Come on. We're so close. We're so close. Why? Come on. All right, this is it. This has to be it. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Distropolis at level one! Yeah! Now, Leia, quickly. Leia? D did you just break through that wall? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, somebody told me to wait here for you. I think. No, is it really that obvious? <laughs> but Lucas, Lucas, you don't understand. We beat Distropolis at level one. Do you understand what that means? It means we got through this area at level one. 
Ooh. How did you even get here, though? I thought this place is instanced. Hmm? Leo, we must hurry. Both of you need to uh, take the next exit point. It will be your last jump. <gasps> What's that sign over there? Should we go? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, what? What is this? Did we just literally break the fourth wall or something? <laughs> and that's another her great line in this game. Mm. Leia, there's no time. Quick, take the elevator. Elevator, right. Pull the lever, Lucas! Where are we? Is this even still the playground? Leia, please hurry. Run towards the sea. Somebody will pick you up. <gasps> this way? Uh, you're sure? Mm -hmm. Leia! Leia! I can't move. Run, Levers! <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wall 3.5, yep. Why? No matter what I do, I, I just can't move. Why? Is this some butt or something? Mm -hmm. Why? Leia, please, this won't go anywhere. Somebody must know their way around here. It makes us wonder who exactly is leading the way. Alas, this is as far as you'll go. Your friend is now under our full control. We disabled his movement. He can be relocated at will. Shall it be required? Why? You leave us no choice. His very fate is in our hands. If this well-being is of concern, you'd be wise to obey and stop this escape at once. Why? Leia? Uh, get away already! Huh? There is no point in waiting for me. Run! Uh -huh. Leia, there is nothing I can do about Lucas. I am sorry. We have to escape on our own. It is our only option left. Why? Run already! Go! Uh, stop right there! You keep pursuing this fruitless endeavor. There is no escape from this place. Not for avatars like you. We'll, we'll see about that. <laughs> Still not very explosive proof, I see. I'm here to fetch the lass. No! Not you again! Yeah, I know, right guys? We haven't seen him since the tutorial. It's been forever. Why did you wrap her in blankets? She's an avatar. She shouldn't feel cold or anything like that. She just looked like she needed this, all right? Stop napping. Yeah, Jet saves the day. Leia, my girl, you're back. Hi. Poor thing. You look like you've been through hell. You two, we'd like to talk to the last in private. Hi, Captain. Sergey, you've got some explaining to do. What in the bloody hell has been going on with you two? Ending up in that place and all. Yes, it is about time I tell you everything I know. But first, let me apologize to you, Leia. Hmm? I deceived you, telling you this lie about yourself and your past. Why? I just thought it would be for the best. But, in all honesty, I did not know what to do. Why? Uh. Zamila, Thank you so much for dropping by! Welcome, welcome! Um, I don't think I've seen you around the stream before. Is this your first time? It is because of what you are. Shizuka, she was right. You are an artificial intelligence. More precisely, you are what Satoshi likes to call an evil tar. Let me start from the beginning. 
Oh, that's awesome, Zamila. Thank you so much for dropping by. Uh, this is the No XP Challenge run. We are stuck at level 1. We just got through Vermilion Wasteland, and it was awesome. We beat Distropolis. I can't believe it. And if you're interested in this kind of content, feel free to leave a follow. It really does help out the channel, and it's free. It all started several years ago. At the time when we were all still employed by Entertainment. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Samila. I really appreciate it. Oh, awesome. You saw this. You saw the snail fight. That's awesome. That was such a fun fight. At the time when we were all still employed by Instatainment, Satoshi, he was one of the head software engineers for Crossworld. He was responsible for implementing the avatar controlling module. You see, since avatars are controlled with a mere thought, this part was one of the most complex and difficult to get right. Ubisoft HQ 2020! <laughs> Honestly, what if this was like Ubisoft and EA had like a merger and this is where they worked and they, it was named, uh... uh what is the, the name of their company? Not Cross Worlds, but, um... Instatainment. Yeah. <laughs> that- Boom! Lord Stended. You see, since avatars are controlled with a mere thought, this part was one of the most complex and difficult to get right. Yet Satoshi, he succeeded in creating a reliable connection. He developed a neural network, analyzing in the player's neural oscillation. After just a short learning phase, it allowed for controlling your avatar like it was your own body. It was a technological masterpiece, called the Cross Code. Title drop. Anyway. <laughs> After some time, though, Satoshi discovered something new. The cross code went beyond just analyzing players' thoughts of, of, to control avatars. Using the same neural network as a foundation, it was possible to entirely simulate features of the brain. Perception, logical thinking, emotions, even memories. Before you knew it, the cross code evolved into a fully fledged AI, and it could run an avatar without the player, a so called Evotar. Hmm? So, yes, that is what you are, Lair. An Evotar based on Shizuka. Your personality and memories are a copy of hers. Hmm. And that is also why I did not want to tell you the truth. Back in the day, Satoshi discovered that Evotars had problems handling the truth about themselves. To have the memories of your human self, and then to discover that you are, in fact, an AI. It is a massive emotional shock that the system usually could not handle, leading to permanent malfunction. <gasps> Fortunately, they did not happen to you. It seems you accepted truth. Mm -hmm. Again, I am sorry for all of this. Things might have been easier if I told you right away, or it could have been an early end to everything. I just could not know what would happen, so I tried to be careful to minimize the risk. Hmm? So, wait, did you actually tell her of the coma story? Yes. Seriously? I told you that one would be too dramatic. It was the most logical option, though. <sighs> really, now? Did I understand that right, Sergey? There are these Evotars and Crossworlds. And they copy the personalities and memories of players. That is the other thing. There really should not be any evil tars and crossworlds at all. <laughs> yes, Leia has the power of the protagonist, exactly. <laughs> Satoshi was very excited by his discovery. Ah, yeah, that does explain why all the players are familiar with still like a cup. Yep. <laughs> That, like they were missing that, yep. <laughs> he pitched his findings to the higher-ups, hoping to develop a fully autonomous AI based on the crosscode. However, Instatainment was far less enthusiastic about it. Their priorities were clear. It was only about controlling avatars. Any additional functionality, especially the copying of memories, was unwanted. They immediately blocked any efforts going into developing Evotars. 
Satoshi, he was deeply frustrated about this. Also, it appears we have a bunch of bots spamming the, um, the stream right now, so if anybody wanted to just spam your favorites emotes right now to get rid of that, I'd greatly appreciate that. I don't know why that keeps happening, but it's just happening. Oh, that's a cool um, emote, Lama Chai. I don't think I've seen that one. But yeah, and I'll just continue. Uh, Satoshi, he was deeply frustrated about this. Soon afterwards, Satoshi, Suzuka, and Gotham, all three of them left the company. All I know is that they found someone that supported their continued research on Evotars. Then, when they even wanted me, they even wanted me to join them, but I declined. The whole endeavor it seemed very risky to me. Anyway, it was not long afterwards that I entirely lost contact with them. I had not heard from them for years. That was until recently when I discovered Leia, hidden within the game's database. And that is how the whole thing started. I took some time off from work and lodged Leia into the game, looking for answers. I know as much. So how did ye end up in that place? Well, that is where things start to become really strange. We were pulled into an area that was not supposed to be part of the official playground, Vermilion Wasteland. Gotham and Shizuka, they both were there. And then there was this masked person we saw on the last day. But Satoshi, he was nowhere to be found. We were close, really close to the answers. Um, a fair point to Mila, but I actually think it really adds to the story, and I love how well they're able to play into that, to all the twists and stuff, with the fact that she isn't able to explain herself well and such. It's really interesting. Not to mention the fact that Leia is such a different take on the silent protagonist trope that's both really funny and really endearing. I, I, I really appreciate it for sure. Uh, also, everyone, I think we're good with emotes now. You all can, uh, you all can see the emotes spam at this point. Oh, we were really close, really close to the answers. Yet, we could not afford to stay there. It was too dangerous. How come? Somebody with administrative access as to that area was tracking my connection. They tried to locate me and almost see it. <laughs> I sure hope so, and I'm locked. If, if, this, if the Leia et Emily sh he ship becomes canon, I will be so, so, so happy. That's, that's my OTP for this game, Emily and Leia. <laughs> yep, viva la France. <sighs> they tried to locate me and almost succeeded. I just barely escaped it by minimizing communication with Leia over the last few days. In the end, we just had to escape. I, I see. Hmm. Hmm. Man, that really is a lot to take in, you know? How about we take a little break? Leia, maybe a little stroll around the ship would help you to loosen up a bit. Surely that's no problem, right, Cap? I sure don't I'd like ye to sign that by yourself. But sure, it's alright. Great. Then how about you show Leia around a bit? Why why am I now, please? I'd just like to have a little word with Sergey for a moment. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think Sergey's about to I think Sergey is about to have a talk. I mean like a real talk. <laughs> Fine, follow me, lass. Parla? Is something the matter? Mister, I got a question for you. Something the poor girl is probably worrying about. Yes? Once you find Satoshi and everything has been cleared up, what will happen to her? Thank you, Carla. Carla is such an amazing character. Uh, I know she doesn't get much screen time because she's mainly into tutorial and right here, but gosh darn it, if she isn't like one of the most wholesome and down to earth characters in this entire game. I really hope we get to see more of her in the post-game uh, DLC because uh, she is just such an such a cool character. And I I love that, especially that part right there where she kind of sits up for Leia. <laughs> you ship Leia and Apollo. I mean, I guess I can kind of sort of see it, but personally, I I, I heavily prefer Leia and Emily as the main ship. Yep. <laughs> Uh, you guys, I just have the best comments. That Carla ordered me around like that. I gotta remind her who's in charge on the ship sometime. Hmm. Lass, you really seem to be low in spirits. 
But I really have no time for strolling around right now. Um, Captain. Do you mind if I borrow Misty Avatar for a moment? No, that'd be just perfect. Please keep the labs busy. Nice. Please come this way, Miss Avatar. <laughs> this is great. I never expected to see you on this ship again, Miss Avatar. Leia. Huh? Do you want me to call oh, you by your first name? <laughs> hmm. Sure. Anyway, I'll go ahead and get everyone together. Just meet me outside down on the deck. Finally, we can do the experiment. <gasps> huh? That guy done. <laughs> He's funny. Oh, also, Lamachon, are you actually, um, do you speak French, out of curiosity? I think it's floor one. Oh, awesome, Lamachon. Uh, welcome then, in that case. In that case, you must have, um... <laughs> Now, uh, just thank you so much for dropping by. <laughs> I think it's cool that, um, because of we're in the age of the internet, we're actually able to, like, communicate with people from all over the world right now. Like, someone could be in France, and another person could be in Argentina, and, not, not Argentina, sorry, in Chile, and people can be in America, Europe, Asia, etc. And we're all still able to communicate. I think it's really cool that what, what's happening with us becoming more interconnected all over the world. Hi? Thanks for coming, Miss... I, have a, I mean, Leia. Hello. So, the pseudo-robot has actually returned? Hmm. Please, please, stop calling her that. She is an actual person with a name. I mean, why? Come on, man. <laughs> Leia. All right, then. Leia. My colleague and I had a little discussion over how well instant met... Outer based avatars can handle the water. Oh no. To my knowledge, instant matter easily evaporates when in contact with water. That's why swimming was never an option with the technology. See, guys, look, we're actually getting an in lore explanation for why water destroys us instantly. I think that's I think that's good and I'm glad that they add that in there. But he claims that it can actually withstand a decent amount of water. Right, Leia was totally fine when it started raining last time she was here. I saw it myself. Well, a bit of rain maybe, but let's see how she handles slightly larger amounts of water. And yeah, I agree, Nightlot, this is about to be a very cute scene. How? Quite simple. Please stand at this point for a moment. Huh? Why? <laughs> Leia's instantly suspicious. No worries, you'll see. All right, we're ready. Huh? Sorry, they talked me into it. Sure. I thought you were our friend up there. <laughs> Why? Sorry, Leia. But you see, she did not evaporate. We had to do that for the memes. Mm, I have to admit, I did not expect this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I just have to read this in the dialogue. <laughs> Alea has fallen into the sea in Lego City. Build the rescue helicopter and save Alea. But they're still up to no good. I love the Lego City memes. They're so they're so funny. <laughs> and also, anyone in chat, did you guys play with Legos when you were younger? Because I played with them all the time. They were some of my favorite toys. I love building castles and the Eiffel Tower and a bunch of other stuff like that. And Lego Star Wars was my jam when I was younger. Oh yeah, of course. Hey! It's that me. <laughs> uh, that was just the small button. Now let's try the, the larger one. Ah! <laughs> Leia's like, no, 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 please, anything but that. <laughs> please, just one more time. Do it for science. I don't think this is science anymore, guys. <sighs> Alright, second bucket. Leia's <laughs> <laughs> Ha, see? It couldn't handle that amount. Alright, I see. But you know, it could just, just be a generous safety measure in case avatars actually jump into water. Maybe they can potentially take even more water than that. Hmm. That may be, but we can't test this now, can we? That's true. Ah, nice. Cool. 
Oh, awesome. I'm glad to see some of you guys also play with, with Light Dose before. Awesome. And Bionicle was a lot of fun as well. I remember those for sure. A anyway, my point stands, and it's that Instant Matter avatars are just way too fragile for most serious applications. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. Aiming nine lot. I'm, I'm sorry that happened. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, not all applications require high water resistancy. <sighs> if it were just that, at that would be fine. But did you ever try to lift her? What? I'd never dare do that. I'm a gentleman. <sighs> I sort of expected that. That's why I invite someone to help us out. Hey, Isabel, could you come over here for a second? Hello! Hi? Oh, who is that? Leia! Hi, Leia! I like your horns! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's she's another guest on the ship currently. So, but why would you have her in, involved? To show you how ridiculously light instant matter is. Isabel? Would you kindly he left the young lady for us? Oh no, it's bio it's Bioshock guys! Secretly a Bioshock reference. I'm just saying that's not the line. The line is would you kindly, not would you be so kind, but even so. Ah! Can I do that? Of course you can. Show us how strong you are. Okay. Ah! Ah! Hi! <laughs> and this is one of the cutest scenes in the entire game. <laughs> And Leia's reaction is just... It's just completely perfect for this. <laughs> Whoa! Leia's so light! Wait! Oh boy, I wasn't in aware of that. An avatar should weigh an average of maybe 5 to 10 kilograms at most. Um, For those who have Doodle open, how much is that in pounds? I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> But the point is that Instant Matter is super light, because as you can see, Isabel, who is a child, is capable of uh, picking up someone, picking up a, a section of Instant Matter that's the size of a fully grown woman, <laughs> completely by themselves. 11 to 22 pounds, okay, so yeah, this isn't, that is really light. Yeah, I know, right, this is great comic relief, but it's also actually an important uh, uh, story detail to explain this, because this does explain, expand the lore as to, like, practical applications of uh, Instant Matter and such. Instant Matter is extremely light and fragile. It's the trade-off for being quickly constructed. Leia, hi! Leia, wait! Bye! Why? Leia is staying heavy now. It's okay, you can put her down now. I want to throw her! Why? Sure, show some muscle. No, don't encourage her! And go! Awesome! How? Again, again! Wait! Run, Leia, run! Yep. So you see? Super light, low water resistance, and believe me, any kind of real impact, and it breaks down. Alright, I see what you mean. Still, Instant Matter does have its applications outside of games, doesn't it? Wait, why? <laughs> <laughs> the suffering of Leia. <laughs> of course, it has its applications. But it will never replace good hard machinery and architecture. You can't build a house with instant matter and expect to live in it. It would break down easily. Ha <laughs> Again, again, wait! <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've officially, unofficially found the final boss of this game, and it's that small child over there. Ah, <laughs> uh, the giant snail boss we fought has nothing compared to that, compared to Isabel. <laughs> it works for for cross worlds because everything running around the playground is based on instant matter or virtual. It's like a theme park made out of styrofoam. And that right there is an excellent way to describe cross worlds and instant matter in general. It's like a theme park made out of styrofoam. I see. Ah, uh, I'm beat. Leia, you run real fast. Oof. Oh, so either Leia's player is in quite good shape or avatars are not bound to the player's stamina. Oh yeah, if the activity stats played there, that'd be great. 
Oh, it would be interesting, uh, Zemai, like, to see uh, a home made, like, modern art or something made out of Instant Mario. That, that would probably be a really good application of it, honestly, because Instant Mario, you could build it so quickly and reform it. <sighs> it's the ladder. You can run for as long as you want, and you won't get tired. Anyway, thanks a lot uh, for everything, Leia. And sorry for all the water and throwing. You're not... You're not sorry. I see that smug look on your face. Hmm, exactly. You tell him, Leia. Ah, uh, please don't hate me. I'm your biggest fan. And your only fan on this... On this entire... Her ship. I appreciate her. You hear Carla just yelling down from the... From the ramparts. And everyone else voicing their support for Leia. Oh, please forgive me, he Avatar. I just wanted to show you how awesome Avatars are. And you are awesome. <laughs> yep, Carla's a fan. Nice work, then. You really showed him. Uh, was it really that bad for you? Uh, mm -mm. Well, I'm relieved. It was fun. I want to throw Leia again. No! <laughs> Leia's terrified. Oh, come on, give her a little rest, okay? Aw, oh, man, okay. See you later. Hey, Leia, I see you are having fun with the crew. <sighs> I will soon start preparing things to get you back into the playgrounds. It will take a bit of time, though. It is probably a good idea to log you off in the meantime. Mm. Before that, though, there is something we should talk about. Um, yeah, an instant mara car, that would be interesting. Although, there are, um... Never mind, I shouldn't say anything, because that might be a very minor spoiler. But, we'll, we'll find out later. But I don't think instant mara would be able to really carry a, a real-life person very effectively, just because... Instant Mara, as we said, is only like 10 or 11 pounds, and it's basically like styrofoam, so it probably wouldn't be the best material for vehicles. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> to Vans, to close Leia, that's no fun. Since you know the truth about yourself, you are probably feeling a great deal of uncertainty, correct? Mm -hmm. In particular, about your future. Mm -hmm. I... I do not want to give you any false hope. Your current situation is problematic. The only place for Egotars to exist is within Crossworlds, without official permission. And this will only last as long as we can keep it secret from instantainment. Mm. This is something we have to change, Leia. Huh? This is our goal. To create a proper place for Egotars. One where you do not have to hide your identity. <gasps> huh? Mm -hmm. Aww, happy Leia. Or I should say hopeful Leia. Satoshi. He always envisioned a place like that, even back then. Finding him is just the first step towards our goal. With his help, we might find a way to get there. Hmm. Well then, should we call it a day? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good night, Leia. Bye. <laughs> if only, Copper, if only. Gotham, why did this happen? She uh, had assistance. Somebody interfered. Hatched the environment server. This was bound to happen. The odds were still highly stacked against them. Hmm. This is like the cargo ship all over again. Gotham, you need to stop playing around. Hmm? Understood. For now, continue with the interrogation. We're behind schedule. Dun dun dun! <laughs> oh, that's funny, Copper. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. I actually, I don't think teleporting yes Samara would be able to teleport a per like a real physical person, though. If it could, that'd be interesting, but I'm not sure if that would work. The, the fact that Instant American Teleport is just it being reconstructed elsewhere, in my opinion. <laughs> Does that mean we can copy and paste Leia? Good question. <laughs> Promoted by Spanish Town of City! <laughs> Honestly, though, we actually did name that town in uh, Vermilion Wasteland as, Power, as Palatown, just because we've already made a meme that Leia's a grass-type Pokemon, because of all the health regen equipment we have being plants, or usually food of some kind. So... <laughs> We actually made a big joke out of it being 
Pallet Town over there in Vermilion Wasteland, which means the rest of Cross Worlds, west of there, or west of Vermilion Wasteland, would be Johto, which is one of my favorite regions in Pokemon. There you go. Nightmares of my flat. It was just bound to happen. Ah, <laughs> oh, he predicted it. Lucas called it. We are having nightmares about his flat. It truly was terrifying. More terrifying than Vermilion Wasteland. More terrifying. I and then the snail boss. Even more terrifying than when Shizuka... Okay, let, let's face it. Nothing's as terrifying as when Shizuka came in during that run. But the point still stands. This room is terrifying. Come on, let's run away. Leia? Leia. Please, run away. There is no point waiting for me. Aw, oh, and this is kind of heartbreaking just seeing her trying to run to help her friend by just being pulled away. Uh, Shizuka destroyed the Zen Garden, which was symbolic of Leia having her thoughts about herself completely shattered, her entire, um, understanding of herself completely flipped. <sighs> Good morning, Leia. <gasps> Hi. I hope you rested well. Any new memories? Huh? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I see. Well then, preparations to go back to the official playground are all finished. We will have to leave using the teleporter down in the cargo hold. Remember the one where we started? Oh, you're right, Samila. I did notice that the walls seemed a bit broken there, though I wasn't sure if that was just part of it. Seven Slice! Thank you so much for dropping by! Welcome! Thank you so much for dropping by, Seven. Uh, yeah, it is a fun stream. We actually beat a really hard boss, uh, that I wasn't sure if we were able to beat because of its unique mechanics. We managed to get past it. We're out of Vermilion Wasteland, and we're continuing on. I hope you have an awesome uh, rest of your stream, Seven. <gasps> hmm. Carla should be waiting there for you. Also, I did a few more preparations on my side. Ow. Well, I moved locations again. <gasps> Why? Just uh, making sure nobody will be able to locate me. I did the same after com you completed the flash attempt. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Copper. Seven Size is not a bot. She's she's been on stream several times, and I've actually uh, gone to her uh, Fire Emblem streams a couple times as well. I believe she's currently doing a uh, basically a, a ladies only run of a Fire Emblem Three Houses using um, the Black Eagles uh, house. And if you're interested in watching Fire Emblem Three Houses, highly recommend uh, uh, checking out her streams. She's it's really laid back and relaxing and, and fun to watch her, her play Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yep, all oh, hail Lady Edelgard! Exactly! <laughs> I did the same after you completed the Fosho Temple. That is why we had to stay offline for a while, remember? <gasps> anyway, things should be less critical since we are out of the Vermilion Wasteland. Then again, they most likely still have ways to track us in the official playground. Otherwise, they could not have dragged us out of the raid like that. Hmm? I still wonder how exactly they managed to do that. Maybe they can read the traces we leave on the game servers. Or maybe it is something very simple, like somebody watching us in-game. Dun dun dun! <gasps> well, it is all speculation at this point. But we should be careful and watch our surroundings, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway, onwards to the teleporter. Yep, thank you so much again for stopping by, Seven. Have a great night. Oh, you're trying to beat the route tonight. That's awesome, Seven. Best of luck with that. And have a great night, Seven. Alright, can we teleport yet? No, we can't. I think we have to go to... Basement, I want to say. Yeah, there we are. Well, one moment. So let me add a little shortcut for you. This will take you right to the teleporter where Carla is waiting. Uh, yep, Zamila, I know exactly what you mean, and yep, that's one of the many hints towards towards that theory. But we probably won't know until the post game episode, so just kind of leave it at that. Huh? How? Hmm? Oh, 
Uh, yes, that sure would have helped back then when we had to run through the cargo hold, correct? Mm hmm. Unfortunately, I did not have the routine to spawn these shortcuts back then. Ugh. Oh well. Teleportation! Surprise! I managed to add a proper landmark on the ship. That means from now on, you can travel back to the cargo hold whenever you like. To do, I don't know, maybe say hi to Leia or Jet or something. Ooh. But better to not try to drag along other party members. You are the only player that can enter this place. Huh? Hey, hey there, girl. Hi. You look pretty well rested. I suppose Sergei taught things in through with you. I know what she means, Amila. I part of me doesn't want to be true either, but the other part of me realizes that there's just way too many hints towards it, and it seems increasingly likely. <laughs> About time, really. Just so you know, you have all our support. If you ever her need a break from the busy playground, feel free to drop by. Hmm. Well then, let's let's get you back among all those other players. Please stand in the middle of the teleporter. I'm honestly not sure, Zamila, but that's an interesting in theory. Uh. Oh, almost time for dinner. Uh, sounds good, Copper. But yeah, it is a good question. Um, I, I honestly don't know oh, who Isabella's mother and father would be, but that's a very interesting question. Everything ready? Good luck over there, girl. Bye. Thank you, Carla. You're awesome. Here we are. You should now be able to travel to all landmarks within the playground again. Hmm. Also, direct link should work again. It is probably a good idea to say hello to your friends again. We have been missing for quite some time. <gasps> yes, 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 yes! Yeah! I, I'm sorry. I, I know the story, guys, but just... Ah, uh, yes, finally! Finally! Exactly, Emily! Hi! Hmm. Bonjour. Huh? So, suddenly you're back? Huh? It has been, what, a week? Mm -hmm. We lost rewards, as always. Meet me at the guild headquarters. I want to talk to you in person. Oh, she seemed... angry? Why? Well, you disappeared in the middle of the raid, remember? <gasps> it is probably a good idea to talk to her soon. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Emily would definitely have good reason to be mad at us for not only leaving the raid just kind of in the middle, but also being gone for a week without any answer. And even if Emily is... And even though Emily probably is mad at us, I'm still just so happy that, you know, we're finally back to the part of the story where she's back, because Emily is my favorite character in this entire game, as I've said before. Ah, <laughs> uh, that'd be interesting. And, uh, Copper. Oh, you know what, Zamila? That is a good point. Leia didn't open that DL. Emily actually opened the DL for Leia. You know what that means, right, guys? It means Emily was really paying close attention to see when Leia would come back online. And the, like, almost the moment that she got that notification, she's like, I need to call Leia. Again, even if Emily's mad, that's still, like, a very, 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 very minor hint to a possible uh, ship. So, yes. So much yes. Anyway. I... Bonjour. So, what happened? Hmm? All I know is that you just left in the middle of the raid. We had to cancel the whole thing, and we had such a good run. Hmm? Then you've been missing for a whole week. Well, sort of. You have still been listed as online, but I couldn't contact you. Why? That's what I want to know. 
Someone told me that you might have blocked us from contacting you. Ah! Mm -mm, mm -mm. Then what was it? Please, you have to tell me. How? I don't know. Just... Oh, this honestly breaks my heart. She... You can tell she really does care, and she's been wanting to look out for Leia, but she just... Leia can't, can't explain it. She just can't. Somehow! Huh? There are so many things I just don't know about you. And I can't even ask you properly. It's so frustrating! Uh. Oh, Lord. I guess all that's left then is asking lots of questions. Uh. Why did you drop out of the raid? Was it a bug? Uh-uh. Uh then what? Did you cancel the raid on purpose? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Then what else is there? Plural? Leia, you're back! We. Oui, she just showed up today. I'm currently trying to find out exactly what's happened. Well, that will be hard to figure out with her speech limitation. I know, I'll just poke her with questions until I get a good picture. That sounds troublesome. Leia, where are you going? Um, Leia? What?! Am I sensing a hint of jealousy here? <laughs> um, is everything alright? What are you doing? Just, what exactly happened to you after you left the raid? Uh, why? Sacred Blue! What is wrong with you? Why? Uh, uh, uh. How? What what was that? That came out of nowhere. I don't believe this. Has she gone crazy or something? Yeah, I know. The scene that hits hardest for... There are a lot of scenes that hit hard for me in this game. And while the Shizuka scene is probably one of the hardest punches to the gut, that also really hurts. It is a really sad scene. Just because, again, it's not either of their fault. Neither of them caused what happened, but Leia just physically can't explain herself, and it's it's really frustrating on Emily's end as well, and there's just no easy solution here. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, but you guys have great comments, though. Leia? That's Lucas. He does not remember what happened, correct? Why? I kind of suspected as much. Sorry, I should have taught... ...not with you about it. That Lutus you met in Vermilion Wasteland. He was most likely another Evotar. And yeah, you're probably not right now, I bet you uh, uh, Emily was spamming calls to Leia's trying to reach out to her. Huh? In fact... I suspect that was the case for all the players we saw back there. Mm. Mm. Do you not want to go back to them? Mm -hmm. I see. The situation is rather complicated. But I'm sure they still mean well with you. Mm? Maybe give it a bit of time. I'm sure you will be able to reconcile eventually. Hmm. Mm. I suppose we should go to Gaia's Garden next. That is the next major area north of Autumn's Fall. Our goal is still to reach Sapphire Ridge, correct? Mm -hmm. I really should try to extend your vocabulary. At least a little bit more. It will be difficult, but I know a few words that might help you in situations like this. Mm? I will get on that while you make your way through Gaia's Garden, alright? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, guys. Ah, even with that sad scene, it's still so refreshing to, to listen to the Autumn's Rise theme again. And, and then a lot of what's happened is just, it's so heartbreaking, but also, I understand it for sure.
we can't unfortunately go back to the first caller's HQ, and we aren't allowed to DM uh, Emily either, because you'll notice if we try that, this happens. Now it's not a good time. Which, again, is heartbreaking. Oh, how often do I tie plants while I go through this game? Zamila. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We have a meme on this stream called Plants, which I think Doa came up with because whenever we go to a, a new area, I always have to attack the plants. Why? Well, because this is why. We can't level up. We don't get any circuit points from anything but quests. And the plant quest, the plant analysis quest, is one of the few quests in this game that rewards CP. So, there's actually a very good reason to do that head on the stream. So yeah, when we get to die storm, there's going to be an absurd amount of plants to analyze, and it's going to take forever. But that is, that is definitely coming up. Oh, before I forget, I'm not sure if it's this chapter or next chapter, but there is something else right here. Oh yeah, try DMing Lucas, that's a good point. So... Now's not a good time. Yep, not a good time. I don't think... Yeah, now's not a good time. Yeah, Leia needs to... Give some time for everyone to sort things out. Yeah, I know. Almost every time I pass them, I just subconsciously attack plants. It's just kind of a force of habit at this point. And it's gotten me into trouble before. Like, during Vermilion Wasteland, I almost got destroyed by those enemies because I was just absentmindedly throwing v uh, VPIs for no particular reason. Or, sorry, VRPs for no particular reason. But yeah, it is time to head to Gaia's Garden, which... Let me think. What, where's the entrance again? Oh, I think it... So, over here? Frodo Prince! Yo! Frodo Prince, thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, welcome, everybody! Uh, okay, it's not there. Um... Up there. Yeah, up there. How you doing, Frodo Prince? You having a good night? WLWCWN, welcome! Thank you so much for dropping by. Oh, not much, Frodo Prince. Everything's going very well. Um, we actually managed to just get past Vermilion Wasteland and beat the snail boss at level one. At level one! It was awesome! Like, that was one of the most satisfying moments of the uh, entire game for me, is just getting past that part, and yeah. Awesome, Frodo Prince. I'm glad to see you're loving the, prog the challenge run. And, uh... For all who are joining the raid, if this is your first time, welcome. I'm Antomix. I I'm currently streaming the Crosscode No It's Peace Challenge Run, where we're trying to beat this awesome action RPG while permanently stuck at level 1. What this means is, it's not just that we have lower stats, we also don't get very many circuit points. The only circuit point we got is from the mining quest way earlier. Your Highness! Welcome! Thank you so much for dropping by! I've been doing awesome! How you been? As I'm explaining to the raiders, the only CP we can earn is from quests, and this is the only one we've gotten so far. We don't even have combat arts at this point, it's been really hard. But it also makes the fight so, so satisfying. So, uh, if you guys do are interested in this kind of content, feel free to leave a follow. It really does help me out, and it's free. And yeah, thank you so much, again, for everyone for dropping by. I know we're staying towards the end of the stream, but I really appreciate all the support. Awesome! You're back on Twitch, your highest. That's that's great! Well, here we are, Gaia's Garden. Asadi, thank you so much for the follow! I really appreciate it! A lot of new enemy types here. Funny enough, though, no bots. Huh? <laughs> yep, exactly, Lama John. Here we go. You see, Emily will probably be fine by herself. I find it ironic that, like, the jungle doesn't have any, like, giant bugs, yet some of the other areas definitely do. Sorry, I should not have said that. Yeah, don't make Leia upset about Emily. Bring Emily back. Now, I do normally end streams more towards 9 o'clock, not nowadays. So I am going to end streams soon-ish. But, yeah, I did manage to beat Apollo 1 and 2 at level 1. Those were insane, especially Apollo 2. That was a ridiculous fight. It came down to the wire. And if you're interested, that um, all of that content's actually on my YouTube channel, which is linked in the About section of my Twitch channel. And if you check it out there, uh, feel free to subscribe there so to watch this kind of stuff on your own time. I put up all the boss fights and streams up there. Blue Hair Sphere Hmm. 
We finally meet again! Leia. Right. Spheromancer Leia, I see you finally reached Gaia's garden. Hmm. That means we both now possess the cold and heat element. In other words, it is due time. <laughs> Spheromancer Leia, I challenge you to our third duel! No! No! Ah, uh, this is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, it's athlete front of friends. So Paul, please find a hobby. Also, how did you get up there? I don't think you can get up there normally. But yeah, this this fight coming up is absurdly hard, and I don't think I'm not I'm not getting to it tonight, guys, because the last Apollo fight took me multiple attempts and it was just <laughs> It was just so ridiculous. And now that we got past that, I think this will be even more ridiculous. So yeah, it's been net stream to see just lots and lots of fails on my part trying to beat Apollo. Mm. Do you accept? Do we have a choice? Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you, um, I mean, perfect! <laughs> I'll be waiting at the open field over there. <sighs> that guy again. Do not tell me he has been on a stake out here all this time. Mm. Yeah. Uh, how's Amila? Yeah, it is called a roundabout. Okay, we are not fighting Apollo tonight. That's going to take way too long, even if it were or is to be a successful run. So let's just hit some plants. I want to see how far up I can go before he yells at us. I think he... Yeah, okay. Spheral Mental Lair, don't forget about our duel. Yeah, we can't go much further in. Alright. Uh... Yeah, of course, Rado Prince. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, have a great night, Rado Prince. Thank you so much for dropping by. If if you're online at some point while I am uh, while I am streaming, I will try to raid you at some point. Yeah, I know it's it is a cliffhanger, but honestly, guys, it's three minutes before the end of the stream. There's no way I'd be able to do this in uh in three minutes. And WLWCWN, thank you so much for the uh, sorry. Thank you so much for the follow. I really do appreciate it. Um. Now, uh, I'll, I'll start to wrap things up here. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for dropping by, whether you're a return watcher or coming here for the first time. I really appreciate all the support. It's been... I mean, don't get me wrong. I love challenge runs for the sake of getting to experience a video game that I really like again and in a new way. But getting to experience it with you all here and talking about things, whether it's memes or game design or the story... It, it really does add, like, another layer to this. It makes it more enjoyable. And a lot of fun. And I'm just... Again, thank you all so much for the support. And if you are watching on YouTube and you do like this content, feel free to, to subscribe and to hit that, that bell icon to stay notified. 